Ba ba, black sheep. Have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No. Are you guys serious? Really? This is what I've been reduced to playing with it? <laughs> and that's why we're talking about the Lamb of God on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. Whose idea was that? Was that Jackson's idea? Now that we've gotten that lamb out of the way. Oh, but Lammy was so cute. Well, the Lamb of God is a completely different deal. I promise you. Here we go. For Christians, the lamb symbolizes innocence and purity, connecting it to Jesus' sacrificial death upon the cross. Jesus, as the sacrificial lamb of God, is born from the Paschal lamb of Passover, a sacrifice of innocence and purity that the Torah requires Jews to make on the eve of Passover. Now, according to the Torah, this sacrificial lamb was first offered on the night of the Israelites' exodus from Egypt. You see, the blood of this sacrifice was sprinkled on the doorposts of the Israelites as a sign for God to pass over the houses of the Israelites. Why does God do that? Well, God was going to pass through Egypt and slay the firstborn of the Egyptians. It was the 10th and final plague that God brought upon Egypt after Pharaoh refused one last time to free the Israelites from slavery. But God says in the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 13, quote, when I see the blood, I will pass over you and no plague shall destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt, unquote. From that sacrificial lamb came the Lamb of God referring in Christian teachings to the purity and innocence of Jesus Christ. It's a title first given to Jesus by John the Baptist in the Gospel according to John. When seeing Jesus, he declared, here is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Will Willimon, a professor at Duke Divinity School, calls it a mystery why Jesus endured such a violent death. But it also makes sense because of the nature of human sin. He says the founders of Methodism, both John and Charles Wesley, refused to limit themselves solely to what they call the penalty satisfaction model. They believed that Christ, in addition to atoning for our sin, also brought a healing power which delivered us from the captivity of sin, allowing us to walk once again in the newness of life. If you would like to know more about the Lamb of God, be sure to ask your pastor. Tell them Chuck sent you. Okay, all right. Really? Jackson, I know you're, I know you're back there. Is he back there? I know he's back there. 